Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Uh, today I'll be continuing on. Finishing up the catacombs. And hopefully hitting the boss. But before that, there are some side areas to do. Uh, pick up some items. Kill some stuff. Um, get run over by a huge ball of skeletons. The usual. Alright, so let's kill this giant rat and see what happens. And the FPS lag in this area is insane. Oh, where did you come from? Okay, so down here is one of the most uh, feared enemies in all of Dark Souls. The Bone Wheel Skeletons. And the ooze, that's also one of the most feared enemies in the game. The infamous ooze that drops from the ceiling. Okay, so I want to lure these bone wheel skeletons one at a time. It is definitely not advised uh, to do so otherwise. It's also not advised to ignore the oozes that are on the ceiling because uh, they try to digest your flesh and uh, it's not a pleasant experience if you gotta say there's a slight burning sensation um, you feel all tingly although I bet there are those out there that might feel uh, pleasure from the experience who knows I also noticed I never rested at the bonfire I found. Uh, that's pretty stupid on my part. But it's fine. Okay, so... Um... How do I... Hello? I think I... I think I have a bow. Let's see here. Yeah, I can use the long bow. Can I roll with that? Okay, that's why I don't equip it. That's fine. Alright, one at a time. Here you go. And de-equip that so I can roll. Yeah, this attack right here, don't get hit by that. It's also advised to use your weapon. Um, I mean, my fist did a decent amount of damage right there, 31, but... Punching it to death might take a while. So equip the bow again. Which one am I going to lure up now? May as well get this one on this side. This is why a bow is always useful. Just to lure out enemies. To make things easier for yourself. Alright, now for the ones on this side. Kind of annoying that I have to unequip the bow to fast roll. I need to fix that problem. I need to increase whatever stat it is to increase equip load. I can't remember what it was though. Vigor maybe? I think it's probably vigor. Oh wait, no, it's Vitality. Vitality increases equip load. They changed it in this game. Just remember that. Alright, now for the last one. I don't need to use the bow to draw that one out. Uh, I want to watch out for these slimes, though. Titanite Shard. Titanite Shards are becoming fairly common at this point. That's good, so... If I want to experiment with a different weapon, I can. I don't have to worry about having the Titanite Shards to upgrade it. Alright, now that there's an item over here. It might be a ring. If I remember. Let's see. Yeah, Karthus Blood Ring. 
Now what does that do? Let's read this while I'm on the run. Karthus Blood Ring boosts rolling invincibility at the cost of defense. I'm not sure how good that actually is. Um, it'll increase my invincibility frames. Well, I mean, that, that sounds good, honestly. But I don't know if the defense loss is worth it. I only have two Estus. Okay, well, let's make them count. And be very careful with this guy. This guy's a little... Well, he's not a little, is he? He's a, he's a big asshole. I gotta remember I can just stagger these guys. Or maybe not. They do, they do stagger a little bit. Look at this guy's fancy moves, man. You would think that I would be doing that, seeing as I'm playing a dexterity build. But uh, instead, I'm doing the exact same thing I did with my strength build, which is just heavy armor and a shield, and just tank everything. And now if I remember correctly, there's an illusory wall, like right here. Yeah. Um, over this way. Oh. There's this little guy. Let's not miss out. Oh shit. He did a 180. Fire gem. Useless. Alright, now if I pull this off uh, flawlessly, I'll be able to knock this guy straight off the cliff here. Which would be fantastic. Oh. I mean, I was going for the backstab, but... Yeah, that works too. Okay, now this opens up the shortcut. I want to open up the shortcut uh, immediately in case I die. This room right here is a trap. Uh, there are a shit ton of skeletons in here. I can't really remember what triggers them to all revive. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. And there's this thing in Ember. I remember that you can get invaded in this area. But I'm not sure what triggers that either. Oh, there he is. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh man. This is bad because I only have the... Uh... Oh shit. I only have the... The one Estus now. Fuck. I was trying to do the strong attack, but the uh, the button press didn't register. Oh shit! I don't think he can one shot me uh, with this sword, but I don't want to. Fuck, I keep forgetting about that ball. It's usually not there when I fight this guy. I've usually gotten rid of that by now. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, well, there's the death. Man, there's just... I feel like... Attacks that... Go into, like... 
attacks that lock you into an animation, like backstabs and parries, I feel like are... I feel like that kind of crap is bullshit, honestly, in games like this. It's even the same thing in Skyrim, which I've been playing a little bit lately. If you're low enough health, an enemy will lock you into an execution. And it's fucking retarded. Okay, so I need to kill that guy again. I will be reinvaded. Because, um... Reinvaded? Is that a word? I'll be invaded again, because I'm embered up now. I mean, this time I do have, uh, Estus, so it's not a problem. Can we just... Like... Like, man. I've got a shit ton of HP. There's no way you're gonna bleed me to death, so I'm just gonna... I mean, I don't care about your fancy flips. I don't care about your fucking bleed effect. I'm just gonna tank your shit, and you're gonna die. Okay. Let's see a little rat right here. Boom. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, the ball. It's not on this side, it's on the other side, but this is the, this will do. I want to get rid of this guy. Come on, man. Every fucking game I play, there are fucking walls that screw me over. Okay, I will die if I get the bleed effect right now. Holy shit, the fucking camera, dude. This is so fucking annoying. See, I don't even find fight- I don't even, like... Fighting shit like this in this game is not enjoyable to me. Um, I mean, if this was Bloodborne, you know, it'd be different, because I could move at the same speed as this fucking thing, but... I mean, I'm just sat here while this thing dashes all over the fucking place, not really doing anything. And it's fucking retarded. Not only that, it's gonna come back to fucking life. Because... I guess skeletons have the power to resurrect themselves? Like... I don't know. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, so let's continue on here. There is a second one of those guys, and there's also one with a bow. And I am down to three Estus. Rave Warden's Ashes. Add some stuff to the Handmaid's, uh, inventory. Orange Titan Eye Shard, here's another one of these guys. Fan-fucking-tastic. Okay, so if I hit him twice with the two-handed uh, attack, they will stagger or get knocked down. Titanite Shard. Alright. Where is the, um... There he is, right there. Looking for the guy with the pointy hat. There's that guy with a bow right there. I'm not really... I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, see, if I hadn't killed those guys earlier, this guy runs over here. And they'll fucking aggro on you, but I already got rid of that problem, so... It's a lot smoother. Alright. This guy with a bow is literally no problem. Oh man, I need more stamina. I definitely need more stamina. I need more vigor. It's good to. It's good that I. I'm learning these things now, but missed out on that trap. Okay, the ball should be gone now, and it should have dropped an undead bone shard. So two undead bone shards from this area. And for some reason, there's a crab inside the ball. 
not really sure why that is. Oh no, this one dropped the dark gem. I can't. That makes more sense anyway. I mean, two undead bone shards in one area, that's pretty fucking crazy. Um, I want to try and fight that guy with a sword again. How was that down here? Is he going to invade again? Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's not mess around too much here. What the fuck? I'm wondering how he didn't take damage right there. Why not? He did that shield bash. He didn't really... He wasn't blocking. And I hit him. I hit him to the side, so... It's kind of weird. Just fish for backstabs here. Man, that, uh, that hyper armor is insane. That is pretty fucking insane. They have definitely improved... Big two-handed strength weapons in this game. I mean, this shit... Like, first of all, it's attacking so goddamn fast. His attack speed is essentially the same as mine. Which is fucking insane. Um, and they improved the hyper armor, so, like, you can't stagger these guys. That's crazy. That isn't... That's fucking... It's all, <laughs> that's another bullshit thing, how he can just rotate... Like, a full 180 mid-attack. God. Uh. As long as I don't hit him mid-attack, I can stagger him, because there is no poison this game. Except when he's shield bashing. I don't think this guy actually meets the stats requirements to use his sword one-handed. Because it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem like he does any damage when he... uses it one-handed. Night Slayer's Ring. Um, what does that do? Enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. I mean, that's not... that's not really useful in PvE. That might be useful in PvP if you're the kind of retard that spams R1. I'd like to uh, exchange the life ring out for something. There's no real reason for me to be still using this. Um, I could use. I mean, I could use both Karthus rings together. But I don't. I don't know. I don't know if the eye frames are worth it. Alright, so now I can fight the boss, but I, I've got to hit the bonfire again. Okay, so I've hit the bonfire, and now I'm down here. Um, I'd like to kill the boss pretty soon here, because I'm getting pretty fucking salty from this area. The longer I'm here, you know, just the higher my sodium levels rise. I, I don't know why. But first... Oh shit, I fucked up. I fucked up by going up here. Unless they don't run all the way over here. Okay, they don't. That's good. Because I need to talk to you, Honoré of Astora again. Ah, hello. We meet again. Have you seen Horus? Nope, anywhere? still haven't seen Horus. Oh yes, I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horus, where have you run off to? So she has searched high and low. Well, she didn't search low enough because Horus is down there. Now, you can actually see him down there. I'm not really sure how she hasn't found him. Oh, 
Okay. Time to run across this bridge and possibly experience a massive frame rate drop. Maybe. Or maybe not, depending on whether it's fixed. Okay, they seem to have fixed it. Before, in a previous patch of the game, this gave me an insane frame rate drop when all those skeletons spawned and the bridge dropped. Now you see here I can descend. Uh, the bridge has now turned into, I guess, like a makeshift ladder and I can climb down there to where Horus is. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take on the boss here, or at least try and take on the boss. Um, this boss is really easy, but at the same time it's very easy to get killed. I feel like this boss is really glitchy sometimes, I don't know. Uh, so I might die. I might not. We'll see. Man, my hand was shaking a lot right there. It's like my character has fucking Parkinson's. This is too... this is too spooky for me. Too spooky. And here I am in this dark... this dark pit. Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome and oh shit. Oh man. I gotta say the presentation of this boss is pretty damn cool. Um... The way he sort of just pops up out of nowhere. Alright, now this smoke... This is why I find this boss a little glitchy. Because, um... Some interesting things will happen. Like, if I get backed up all the way to the wall... And he starts spamming that smoke attack... I'm pretty much fucked. I can't remember which hand I need to destroy the bracelets on first. I think I want to do the left first. Because it makes things easier. Like, the left arm is harder to hit, so it's better to get it out of the way first. If I remember correctly. Man, what the f- Oh man, I am so fucking tired of skeletons, dude. It's unbelievable. I haven't even, like, it hasn't even taken me this long to get here. But, like, I'm just so fucking tired of skeletons. I'm not even doing any fucking damage to the. It feels like I'm not doing anything. See, I'm gonna get backed up to the wall here in a second, and this attack, this attack here is going to... <laughs> I'm gonna be completely fucking screwed. It is pretty retarded. Oh. Here comes out his, um... Oh no, he's, he's spawning skeletons. That's right. That's right. Watch out. Man, come on. That bracelet needs to break, man. Dude, this is so... Like, 
Oh god. Here it comes. I have nowhere else to fucking go, and he's just gonna spam this attack until I fucking die. Do you see that? Did you see that fucking damage that just did? It's over. I haven't even broken one bracelet. It is fucking over. Dude, these bracelets are not... They are not breaking. Like, what the fuck? Please! <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus, I've never seen it take that long. Okay, there's two. Now, the one on the right should be a lot easier, and he does get knocked back once you destroy him. That's good. Oh, shit. Run. Run. Run, 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 run. I think you can block that with your shield. I'm not really... Not sure how that works, but I think you can. What is he doing? What is he doing? Okay, that's it. I mean, this boss is cool, but it's just... God, man. It's fucking... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like fighting it. Aesthetically, it's cool, but I don't, I don't like fighting this boss. It's similar to... The setup is very similar to the Bed of Chaos from Dark Souls 1. Uh, where you have this big-ass thing, and you have to destroy... You have to target weak points. It's kind of... Uh, meh. 5 out of 10. Man, there's nothing more... There's nothing more badass than... Cloth fluttering in the breeze. Okay. So here's Bonfire right here. Sit down. Rest. Um, next time... Let's see. Well, I could probably show it... No, nah, I'll save it for next time. Next time will be the Boreal Valley. Uh, I'm not going to go down to where Horus is. That area is a little... It's it's not difficult, but it would be challenging if I tried to do it now. Uh, so I'll hold off. So yeah, next time Boreal Valley. Don't know how I'll get there, or like I don't know where I'll get in that area because that's a fairly large uh, part of the game. We'll see. So so long until next time. Man, my sodium levels were off the charts uh, this episode. Jesus, man. Skeletons. Skeletons. Fuck them. Fuck skeletons.